Greetings everyone. I am Dr. Rita Divedi, a course facilitator. So to begin with, so this is uh, course uh, BDE 211 Pedagogy of English in short BOE. This is a four credit course and uh, let us uh, start with the objectives of the course. Here are the objectives. After completion of the course, the student teachers will be able to understand the nature, scope and functions of language. They will be able to develop an understanding of psycholinguistics and sociolinguistics perspectives of language. They will be able to differentiate between concept of language acquisition and language learning. They will be able to differentiate between language as a school subject and language as a medium of instruction. Then reflect on English as a colonial language and English in the post-colonial era. They will be able to explain the challenges of teaching and learning in India. Then reflect on articles 343 to 351 and 350A of the Indian Constitution regarding English language. Then they will be able to understand the aims and objectives of teaching English at secondary school level. They will be able to develop clear understanding of the different types of structures of English language. And then at last, they will be able to write instructional objectives of teaching English prose, poetry and grammar in behavioral terms. So let us start with the modules, introduction of the module. So this is uh, module 1, fundamental of language. So here are the topics. Language, here we will be doing with uh, language and its nature, scope and functions. Then psycholinguistics and sociolinguistic perspective of language. And then role of language in life, intellectual, emotional, social and cultural development concept of language acquisition and language learning, then home language and school language, medium of understanding, multilingual and multicultural classroom, difference between language as a school subject and language as a medium of instruction. So this is all about module 1. Now coming to module 2, so let us start with the topics. It is a position of English in India. And the topics are role of English language in the Indian context, English as a colonial language, English in the post-colonial era, then English as a language of knowledge, position of English as a second language in India, English as a link language in the global context, challenges of teaching and learning English in India. Then uh, comes module 3 that is constitutional provisions and policies of language education. So here are the topics, constitutional provisions and policies of language in India, position of language in India with report to article 343 to 351 and 350A of the Indian constitution. And then recommendations of Kothari Commission 1964 to 66, national policy on education 1986, then Program of Action 1992 and National Curriculum Framework 2005 for Language Education. Aims and Objectives of Teaching English at Secondary Level of Education. Skill-based teaching, listening, speaking, reading and writing and then competency-based. Here we will be doing with linguistic competence and communicative competence. We will, be, uh, uh, we will be learning to uh, write about the instructional objectives, how to frame instructional objectives of teaching prose, poetry and grammar in behavioral terms. And then uh, the last module is module 4, elements of English language. And under this uh, title, uh, the topics are elements of English language, its structures, phonological, morphological and syntactic. Under phonological structures, we will be doing mechanism of speech, phonemes, vowels and consonants, then diphthongs, then stress, intonation and rhythm. And under morphological structures of English language, we will be learning about the meaning and importance and types of morphological structures, prefixes 
and suffixes, pre and bound affixes, then verb forms, adjectives and adverbs, then syntactic structures and basic structures, types of sentences, assertive, interrogative, imperative, exclamatory and optative, and then syntactic structures, meaning and importance of syntactic structures, then types of sentences, affirmative and negative, interrogative, imperative and exclamatory. So these are all, all uh, these are um, all topics of module four. That is the last module. And then here are some uh, suggested readings that you can consult. The books you can consult and you can go through. So these are some of the books where you can get the material. I hope you are going to learn and enjoy the course. Thank you so much. Have a great week.